to the show if you saw my last tutorial uh, we looked at how to test react components with just an enzyme in the last tutorial we used enzyme shallow today I'm going to show you how to use mount in enzyme to test react components if you don't remember this is the example we looked at last time it is a simple to do application you put in a to do I need to poo you can submit and you have it on your screen let's go back to the test Remember to check out the last video so that you have an idea of what we're working on. Back to the test. So this is where we left off last time. In the last video, we already looked at testing with shallow. This is the example. Again, you can check the last video and you can follow along with this. As always, I have a link in the description to my GitHub repository where you can clone um, this tutorial and follow along. So let's move on to testing React components using mount. I've commented out the test already and I'm going to explain to you guys how I went about testing using mount. I've imported React from React, so I'll comment this out. I've imported mount from Enzyme and I've imported app from app. Um, as always, let me just comment everything out and I'll explain to you guys how things are going. So I've described block over here. And inside of the describe block, I've got the input field. I've got a variable called wrapper over here. And I'm saying that before each, like we saw in the last video, before you run each of the it block, I want you to run this wrapper, which is which renders the, the whole component, so the components of the app component. And where is the app component? The app component is this component right here, right? So the app component has two children in there. The children are the input component and the to-do list component. So when I do render the app, like I will show you guys over here. So I can do uh, console.log wrapper.debug for you to see how the um, how the wrapper looks like how the wrapper renders on the screen okay so I'll come back here and I'll do npm test everything is passing but just forget about everything passing for now and just look at this example um, when I run wrapper.debug you can see that I've got the app components here look I've got the app components and inside of the app I've got the input and the to-do list, yeah? The input and the to-do list. If you saw my last video, the input is this. So everything that you see over here is what you see over here, all right? That is the input and that is the um, to-do list component being rendered on the screen. Um, from this bit, from this joint, that is the to-do list component being rendered on the scene. So what is the difference between shallow and um, and mount? Shallow gives like a, a surface view of the components whilst mount this deep for you to see the children wrapped inside of the, of the components. Um, so now that you can see what is being logged on the screen, um, what am I actually testing? So I've created a constant called input and I'm saying wrapper.find dot input field. Wrapper.find dot input field, like we saw in the last video, the find API traverse through the element in the DOM and finds um, a node with the class name called dot input field. And as we can see over here, what node has got the class name dot input field? It is the class name input field is on is the input node all right so it checks and finds this input field over here and expect input.props.value to be empty like i said in the last video um, these are props the required is a prop type is a prop name is a prop value is a prop and an unchanged is a prop which is a function that calls the handle input change um, so as you can see, the value over here, it is empty. So I assert, I expect input.props.value, the value prop to be empty, which is what it is. That's why the test is passing, as you can see over here, um, 
you've got like the green the green tick meaning that it is passing I've got the second describe block all right the second describe block which explains what this block is doing so over here all right I'm running it before each a mountain I'm running the mount on the app I'm checking that the input value is empty then I have over here um, the input value right could be populated with a value it could be populated with a value that input field can be populated with a value so I've created a constant over here called to do value and the value that I've assigned to this constant is I need to poo all right and I'm saying that before each again before you render everything over here yeah wrap up to find the input field so find the input field input the simulate change because I've got like an unchange function let me show you so this is the input right um, handle change is this function so I'm simulating this function when this function is changed see I've got um, an unchange over here all right it calls the handle handle change function which takes an event gets the event target value and then sets the application state to the current um, the current value of I cannot spell um, it has to be value but just take it as it is all right um, it says the application state set to do to that value um, if I show you if I go to my app component uh, set to do right it set the state to set to do so I simulate that change and I'm saying that the target for this change the name is the search field so the name is the search field and the value is the to do okay so where is the search field the search field is the name that I've given to the input if you see over here this is the input field the input has got a name called search field so I'm saying that it is target is what I would like to simulate the change so I've got input to simulate change wrapper the target is the name set field is what I want and I want to set the value of this set field to to do value which is the constant that I've set over here okay so I've set it and now the value is to do value so this runs first it checks that it's empty it runs again before the so the, this before each runs before each of the it block below it runs okay it runs I set the value to I need to poo and that now is the value inside of the input field so I've now set the value to I need to poo the next step is that the input value changes to to do value the input value changes to I need to do so again I create a constant over here I name I name it input value I'm saying a wrapper the find dot input field wrap up finds the input field okay and expect the input field or prop the value to be to do value which is the value that I've set over here so basically what I'm doing is that at the beginning let me just show you what I'm talking about now you can see over here right that it is empty right here okay it is empty okay it, it is nothing it's got nothing in there I've simulated the change and now I expect the input the value the prop the input prop the value to be what I've set up what I've set over here so to make things clear what I can do is that I can console dot debug this input value here so that you guys can see what is being shown uh, on the screen okay so this is what is being logged to the screen as, as you saw earlier on the input value field was empty but now it has changed to I need to poo or because I simulated change before this function runs before this test runs I've simulated change and I've set the value to I need to poo 
So that's how everything is working and how, that's how it works basically. A form can be submitted. That is mainly what we do with forms um, when building web applications. So I'm saying before each, I've got a function. I've set constant form to wrapper.find.form. Wrapper.find.form, just like the wrapper.find.input field, it finds the form, it finds this form. It finds the form, I simulate submit because the form has got a submit, you know, an unsubmit on it. I simulate that submit and I prevent defaults because when you submit a form, it tries to reload, it tries to redirect, it tries to, you know, make a submit. Um, I prevent that that submit from happening. I, I prevent that reloading, that redirecting from happening with the um, prevent default is a mock implementation. So after I've submitted it, what I'm saying is that when the form is submitted, the input field is cleared. Because if you see the web application, when I say I need to buff and I submit it, uh, I need to batch, well, I need to sync, all right? When I submit the form, this input value here is cleared. So I'm just testing to see that it is cleared, um, like a user will usually see it. So I'm saying that when the form is submitted, the input value is cleared. So I set the constant input, wrapper.find input field, I find the input field, which is this field. And I'm expecting the input.props.value, the value prop, which is this value, all right? I'm expecting it to change from I need to poo to be an empty string. Um, let me show you guys. Um, so I can console.log wrapper.debug. So we do have here, yeah, we set the value. The value was sent to I need to poo. Okay. This is being set when I said wrapper.find input. And I said expect input value the prop to be the to do value to do value because I need to poo. It was set over here, all right. Value is I need to poo. Then I came back here. I submitted the form. Submitted the form, and I'm saying when the form is submitted, the value field is cleared. Okay. So when the form was submitted, the value field got cleared, as you can see over here the value field got cleared. Then I'm saying that the to-do value is added to the to-do list, okay? And you cannot already see that inside of the list over here, you can see that I've got like um, the list element. I've got, I need to poo over here because when you look at this, you know, this is what you're saying, all right? I need to poo. It comes over here and then to do is here. All right. So that is what is basically you're saying um, on the screen. Over here in the last um, test, I said expect to do list.text. So the, I, I got the to do. I got this element by saying const to do list is equal to wrapper.find.todos. And dot to do is the class name on this tag. Expect to do list dot test, which is the text. This to be to do value, which is the to do value that I set up here, which said I need to poo. This is a simple way of testing with uh, mount in enzyme. I'm gonna go through again once more for you to a recap of basically what is going on. I come over here, import React from React, import mount from Enzyme, and import app from app. I've got a describe block, um, which is a function, and I've declared a variable called wrapper. 
and I'm saying before you run each of the eight block below below this before each function wrapper dot mount up so the wrapper will mount the application which is this it will mount everything being re returned over here and all the children components within this you can see it okay so the wrapper does that and I'm saying that okay when you mount initially the value is empty which we saw that it was empty and I'm saying over here in the next describe block that that value field can be populated that search bar that input input field can be populated with a to do item so before you run each of the block below here let the input field let input be wrapper to find the input field and the input field as we saw is the class name of the input type okay and I'm saying input or simulate change it simulates change I target what I target the name set field and I set the value which is this value I set it to be the to do value which is the value that I've set over here okay that's the reason why you can see that the value is I need to poo then I tell it that the value changes to be I need to poo um, as you can see it does change to I need to poo then in the last in the describe block over here I'm saying you can submit the form how do I know that the form is submitted I said before each before you run each of the stuff over here each of the eight block over here find the form simulate submit and prevent default and I'm saying describe when the form is submitted the input field is cleared when the form is submitted as we saw earlier on the input field is cleared how do I know because the input field is cleared it's now a string that's why this test is passing the to do value is added to the to do list expect to do list to have length of one and basically that's what we see over here it has a length of one all right this is the to-do list it has a length of one the last eight block I'm saying I'm actually testing state I'm actually testing what is inside of the li tag the li node or the li elements whatever you want to call it the to-do value is to-do value so cons to-do list is wrapper dot find dot to do wrapper dot finds dot to do which is this class so it finds this li tag and expect to do list dot test to be to do value so the text this to be the to do value okay so that's that, that's basically it that's how you can test react component um, using mount um, as I said earlier on um, the last video that I did I showed how you can test react component using shallow you can have a look at it you can clone the repo link is in the description and try to write your own text using just an enzyme and let me know in the description how how you got along and how, how how you found it if you have any problems just comment below and i will do my best to resolve that problems with you um just stay tuned for the next video make sure to subscribe and thank you for